Many strange stories are told about Canberra, and few more curious than this. The government, every state, territory and commonwealth government, is taking on a fink spikey in the High Court, and every Australian has more hanging on this case than has been before the High Court in a lifetime. It starts like this. Parliament in South Australia recently passed a strange new law. It took an important power away from the courts and gave it to police and politicians. An independent review found that this new law offends natural justice, which is legalese for saying it's a crock. Under this law, politicians can ban you from seeing your friends for reasons they won't tell you. If you keep seeing them, you'll go to jail. It doesn't matter if you weren't or have ever been a criminal. It could apply to people who've never been accused, let alone convicted, of anything. There was a legal challenge, naturally, as it happened from two blokes who were in the finks. The case went to the Supreme Court, which found that the new law violates an important part of the Constitution. No law can c contradict the Constitution. That's illegal. The court threw out this new law and consigned it to the rubbish bin, saying, good riddance. Well, State Attorney General Michael Atkinson wasn't going to take no for an answer. He took it to the High Court. Politicians in every government, led by South Australians, are arguing their case in the High Court this week, trying to take these powers back for themselves. Also this week, yesterday in fact, politicians ruled out a Federal Human Rights Act, despite the government's own inquiry which recommended just such an act, following seven months of national consultation. Government says a Human Rights Act gives courts too much power. Politicians, says government, are more trustworthy than judges. Meanwhile, there is indisputable proof that at the last state election, the ALP distributed deceptive, phony how-to-vote cards in marginal seats, and a losing candidate is taking a case to court, claiming that he has evidence the ALP cheated and defamed him, which cost him the election. Politicians or magistrates, who do you trust? You be the judge.